Hi, I'm Jay Thomas from Jay Thomas Auto, and welcome to this week's edition of Hot Rod Hangout. I'm with Rod, we're starting in a, what, 2010? SRT Challenger. Yeah, look at this. Purple six, monster. Six-speed manual, and it is a scorching hot day. It's hot, yeah. hot rod. <laughs> hot, hot, hot at hot rods. <laughs> so. I feel bad because I made the guys work in the back then. I was up in the air conditioned office for most of the day. <laughs> I feel a little bad, but. Just a little. It's okay. We have got how many? Six new rides to look at today, right? Six new, well, five new ones, and then one that's refaced. That's right, and it is super cool. Yep. So we're gonna get into six vehicles when we get back into the air conditioning inside as well. Uh, and we got a whole bunch to check out that's gonna be coming up next week. Like this yeah, is exciting. Another, another seven next week, and there's already four that were supposed to video today that are already sold and left the building. So which ones are those? Let's talk about that right now. The ones that are gone? Yeah. The 2004 BMW. We don't even get a look at the BMW. The ragtop. The 05 Nissan 350Z ragtop. Yep. Uh, 69 Judge. The GOAT. We didn't the even goat. get to see the GOAT. I know, whenever you got to video it. Wow. Uh, and a 72 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. I bought Tuesday and I just sold it last night. I know that's your favorite kind of a... Big old boat. Original. Original. I was going to modify it. I was going to customize it. Well, somebody got their hands on it to save that from you. Thanks. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we should talk about a really great car show coming up this weekend. Yes, it's the Dalmany Car Show uh, put on by Rods Hot Rods and Crystal Car Wash and among other sponsors. Um, and it's 11 to 4 on Saturday. There's live band. Um, it'll be a good time. It'll be, it's going to be hot. Not this hot today, but it's going to be warm. And just what? Drive into Delman, you'll find the car show? Yeah, Where is it? It's on 3rd. Okay. It's like that's the main drag. It's 3rd. Um, kind of just down from the police station. And there's a restaurant. We'll have a, a hot dog cart. Um, there's a, a an area for cars for sale. So there's like a corral for awesome. cars for sale. Okay. Um, just, just, we've been getting calls from all over the province, so it's going to be, I think, a good show. So just show up, come bring the car, right? We'll have our swag for sale there, we'll have a, we'll have a tent set up. And so everything. you're going to see stuff like this, Rod's Hot Rod shirts, maybe something like Rod's wearing. Minus the sweat, though. Minus the sweat, yeah, it's, yeah. Well, it's pretty hot. It'll be clean. It'll be <laughs> yeah. clean shirts. Okay, so without further ado, let's get ourselves out of this cooking hot purple nurple here, which is a pretty sweet ride. Well, it's got air conditioning, so that was my ride today. <laughs> we just don't have it turned on. And let's go inside and we'll check out what is new here in the showroom. Get out of the heat, into the cool. Yeah, there we go. There's the, there's the big Ooh. Dalmany car show you'll see there. Yeah, very cool. This response was done here. Crystal, family pizza, of course. Vintage construction and RDD bro auto brokers. Cool. I happen to have a couple of those too. <laughs> All right. Okay, if you haven't seen this yet, we shot this a couple weeks ago, oh, right? Oh, it's such a killer car. This is an awesome car. Just the, yeah, you gotta see it in person. It's, it's incredible. I love that even the right stripes, the right under the hood, and you gotta have that purple, you know, horn under there too. Amazing stuff in the front showroom right now, like amazing. We actually had on Sun Saturday here, we had Todd Schwint was in, the shop, uh, he owns uh, the Electric Garage Auction in uh, Red Deer. Yep. He was coming through. They're doing a big auction in uh, Winni or, uh, Man Manitoba next, next month. And he, and he came in and he was, he couldn't believe how nice this, uh, this Blue Runner was. Really? It is spectacular. He, he tried to buy it, but he's got to, he's got to add, add some more shekels to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lead the way, Rod. What are we going to look at first? It's all back here in the rear showroom. I'm not sure which one's going to be first. We've got to get the lights. There we go. Uh, which doo -doo -doo. green? Should we start with green? Sure. Of course, we got still this guy sitting here, which we had a look last week. We're going we from should, one. We should do a video someday of this thing running. We should. It's it sounds angry. So over to one more dart. This one just came in yesterday. Uh, 1970 dart swinger. And this is, I believe, our ninth dart swinger since February. <laughs> They're always in pairs. We have two, right? You're standing in front of one, oh, and yeah. there's the other, yeah. right? They're always in pairs. So sublime green. I mean, everybody loves this color. I, you know, there's probably maybe a handful of guys that don't want this color, but man, that's is it ever. That's the thing with, like, with the high, high impact colors that Dodge had. This is, that's kind of the, that goes with it. That's right. Um, that's you're not going to lose yourself in the parking lot getting groceries, that's for sure. <laughs> nice with the white interior. It's kind of, it's, uh, yeah, the it's very, these are always black interior. That's right. Yeah, it kind of keeps it bright. I personally love cars that don't have black interiors. Black is classy, but I like, 
other things. I do too. I like red and blue. And yeah, even even into the browns and beiges yeah. and grays are nice because it's just something different, you know? This is a nice tidy car. It's got actually real center lines, polished center lines on it. Yeah, he's noticing that. They're, uh, they're quite handsome wheels. They are, they are. This is well done. And like under the hood, what are we looking at here? Yeah, and yeah well, it's a, it's a everyone knows that I can't stand when people paint engine bays in a Mopar black. <laughs> so when I bought the car, I was like, please, please, please don't be black. <laughs> and it's not black. Perfect. It's, it's green. It's got some uh, Chevy Chrome, so it might go faster. Yep, that's right. That adds 10 horsepower for that. That's good. And uh, yeah, just silver. Somebody painted the engine silver. That's um, not quite the factory color. Nope. But okay. It's, it was uh, someone's vision. Fine. But uh, maybe if it's your vision, you can, you know, change the color. Functional hood scoops. Um, yes, that's, that's actually weird. Yeah, it runs really well. It sounds good. Nice, uh, nice car. No power brakes. That's typical for all uh, darts. Power, mm. No power brakes, no power, no power steering. steering. We got an alternator. We've got no air conditioning, nothing, you They're know? Very. These were go fast machines, right? Like you said, these, these were meant to do one kind of one thing. Well, they, they were cheap, so they didn't have the options, right? That's right. So. That's right. They had the options people wanted, though, to make them go. Yeah, and the bright colors. Pretty quick in a straight line. Very cool. We'll keep moving here. Why don't we start over here? This one just came in today. This has just arrived. This is a pretty cherry car. It is. Not not even, you know, no pun intended with the color there. Yeah, cherry red. Right, cherry well, red. Kind of a, more, more of a candy. It's gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, 67 SSRS, four speed, deluxe interior. Oh yeah, because look, you've got the, the white inlaid. Yeah, that's with the RS. That's the RS, right? Four speed. We've got a factory tack. If I can make my way in here. That's floating around over there. Factory tack. Wow. Some aftermarket gauges on the bottom. Yep, down there. That's all right. But Very just a nice, awesome. tidy car. Yep, it is. I've got some pictures of the underside of this car on the website. It's uh, nice and tidy. Had it up on the hoist. Um, super nice car. I got pictures of the trunk too. I don't have the keys right now. I can't get in the trunk, but very, very tidy. We'll see if I can get the engine. Yeah, that's a good looking car. Man, oh man. This is the new episode of Can You Get the Hood Open? Yeah, the next, the next episode. Oh, I got it. So this one has a couple tasteful upgrades. It's a you know, stock 350 and, uh, so they added power steering that was in factory. But that was an option. It was an option, but, but not. it wasn't on this car. Exactly. So somebody added it. That's kind of nice. Added mm -hmm. the power steering. They've added tubular control arms. They've added the disc brake kit. Right. Um, they've added uh, QA1 coilovers on the front. Okay, yep. So they've, they've done a bit of work on the, on the Looks uh, front like end. Maybe we've got electronic ignition. Maybe, I don't know, can't tell. Maybe not. No, let's go to the points. There. Might be just points, but still. I mean, this, yeah, those are nice things just to make it just nicer to drive. Yep, exactly. You know? Just some tasteful upgrades. Yeah, doesn't really, really affect the vehicle, you know, change the value of the vehicle, but it does make it drive a whole lot nicer and things like that. The paint so is great. actually really nice. It's we have to do a gorgeous. final polish on it, but the paint is, Yeah. I don't, I don't know if the video will do it justice, but. I'm not sure, you know, uh, yeah, it's, it's really one of those, I don't know, lush colors. It's really rich. It's hard to explain, you gotta see it. Yeah, you do, you do. It's not just red, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. I know, it's not candy, it's not, it's like a brandy almost. Now this car does have hideaway headlights. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna get them working again. Yeah. I'm gonna work with the, the vacuum a little bit. Work with the vacuum. Sometimes yeah. they can be a little tricky. I know there's electric kits that you can put into those things too, right? Make them electric. Yeah, that's what we normally do to them. But uh, yeah, it yeah, is. a handsome car too. It yeah. is very nice, very nice. Okay, so that's working our way through. We've got- One. Two, oh, the uh, Challenger was three. Yeah, well, why don't we give away this little treat over here while we're here, because we've been talking about this, and look at this. It's a 50? 50? Yeah, 1950 50. Chevy. We've already done this car. We have, absolutely, we have. But we certainly haven't done it looking like this. Look at that. Uh, we took a short little story with this. Uh, too Tall was talking about doing, maybe doing flames on this, and I was showing some pictures, and. Initially, we were going to do uh, just a, uh, a ghost flame, like with a tar charcoal kind of a yeah, ghost Yeah, something that just flame. sort of hides into it. Yeah. And then, so he got it all laid out and started masking it. I'm like, 
this is like two days of work just getting the masking done. And yeah. I'm like, we're going to do all that work and you're gonna, then you're going to barely see the flame. I'm like, no, we got to do something cool. So I had to pretty much talk him into doing it because he wasn't sure. So this is the colors that I picked to do. And then he did all the fades and, you know, and everything. But, uh, and this is all done with candies. Yeah. And it is an incredible job. And the other thing is that you can feel nothing. It's been like it is. N there's nothing to feel on this paint. It is just glossy gorgeousness. And notice the it starts. Well, the, and the pinstripe is also taped off and painted. So the, this the whole th flame draw has been taped off twice, right? So it starts with kind of a brighter blue, and it fades. It fades back to a purple. Oh, All done cool? with candies and metallics and. Man, that's awesome. So out in the sun, it's almost hard to look at. It's so just glitters. Yes. Too bad that we, we couldn't really get the, the whole Yeah, it's not vibe. even really sunny out right now. But, but, you, but you can see the candies in here, though. Oh, just, man, it's amazing. And the fact that it like just starts, it almost fades into its original, it does fade into its original color up front, right? So that's just phenomenal. This so, was, this was kind of neat, though, when we, when, when we were doing this. Uh, we actually used the booth, uh, Dean's place, out at Affordable Auto Body. Yep. And uh, that's who cleared it and sanded it and cleared it and sanded it and cleared it. And <laughs> Got so, it. So, got it so that you can't feel anything, like yeah. right? This, this is this is not cut polished or nothing. This is just how it came from the booth. That's right. And uh, we had a guest appearance there. We had Byron Thiessen giving uh, Tutal a hand. Oh wow! For, uh, a couple days from Creative Concepts doing this. Amazing. So we have another flame job that we might do on one of our hot rods coming up. And if we do that one, we'll we'll do that right at Byron's shop. Fantastic. Which would be kind of a, another cool video to do. Now, are you, are you finally satisfied with like the wheels? Are the you... wheels work a little bit better for me now. Yep. With the flames, and I, don't, I don't hate them. That was the debate, was that you were kind of like, ah, oh, I don't like the wheels. But I don't know, for me with the flames on it now, I think now it, it does suit it. And it looks like a, a period hot rod. You know what I mean? It looks like yeah. something somebody would have done into just the late 50s, early and 60s this, and done with this car. And this car drives like, the air conditioning works. It just, it's just a pleasure to drive this yep. car. It's awesome. It's fantastic. Okay, well, let's keep on with a few more surprises we got laid out. Oh, yeah, we got, we got a two-wheeled version of a hot rod right here. Just got this on Monday. This is a 2020 Hardy-Davidson Road King. Oh, almost It's only new. got 3,400K on it. Holy. So it's bone stock, basically a brand new bike, 107, six-speed. But it's got some nice accessories. I mean, like the, you know, it was well-equipped when it was new. Yeah, well, that's, that's how they come. Exactly. With all the chrome. With all the chrome. Yeah. Chromed out. Let's see if I can get a better angle over here. Very handsome. It's the Road King with the hard bags. You, you can get the Road King Classic, which has the uh, more classic look with the spoke wheels and the, the soft bags and stuff. So. Right, yeah, because we've got some alloys down yeah, here with the black. The and, you yeah. get the hard bags, which I like better. But Well, if you're going on a long road trip, that's probably a little more convenient, right? Well, the... The, the soft bags look soft, but they're actually hard bags just with the leather covering. Oh, okay. Is, so. Gotcha. Just to give that classic look. Very nice details at rodshotrods.ca. Mm -hmm. And we got one more Three, that I'm backing up towards. Three, four, five. Oh, and yeah. we, we have, we've talked about for a long time. These are been around. some of my favorite. Everyone knows I love the late 50s cars. Yeah. That's my thing. And uh, I, yeah, I, I like these cars. Well, let's, let's give it away. We're looking at... Dun, dun, dun. 1957. And if you notice, Classic Cruisers Car Club, that is, of course, Prince Albert. That's yes. where that's from. This car has been around Saskatchewan a long time then. Yes, this was bought at the Okotoks car auction like 25, 30 years ago. Wow. So big, I can't even get it really in the shot. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is, again, one of those big, beautiful, full-size cars. And the coolest thing is you guys got a new interior for this. It came Brand with the car, new, right? Yeah, but it wasn't installed, so we... Right. New, brand new interior, yeah. There's some of the leftover stuff sitting on the floor right. that we haven't put away yet. Yeah, new door panels, front and back, seat covers, front and back. Even like all the, the top here. Right, and this tonneau. That yep. top, and when the top comes up, there's also the same that's, that comes with the top. So yep. you have to do this twice. Different now, area. and like look, to make it even longer, as if it wasn't long enough, there's a Continental kit hanging off the back of this thing, which is awesome. And you guys even went through this, like, it's not just that it's a retractable top, it's a working. It's a working retractable. Exactly. I had to school some of my uh, older guys that work here of how to work this thing. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
What is it? Just one button, though. Is it one just button? One button. Yeah. Now you got to usually have the car running, right? Nope. I mean, you can. Oh, you nope. can do it without the car running. But you got to be a neutral. Oh. That's the key. Okay. That's the only secret, really, is you got to be a neutral, and uh, like we've we got two of these cars, right? We got this one, and we got that white '59, and, and both tops work. Yep. And uh, these well, these look cool with the top up too. They are a technical marvel because it all happens one button. And if you think it's all motor switches, it's not modern electronics, right? No. It's all relays and motors and worm gears. And that's right. That's right. That sort of stuff. So this big rear end lifts up first, right? Then piece by piece, things happen one series after another, after another, after another that lead to the top coming out. And part of it folds out and lays down and then it closes and then it even corkscrews itself yep. right into these things up here yep. right it's all it does it with it, one button one button and, and locks you, itself down and you hope the button works because <laughs> if it does driving around with a roof <laughs> there's not many people around anymore that know how to work on these properly yeah so you want to have one that the roof is working totally trust me on that <laughs> well especially in like imagine cruising and weather like today to go for a ride in this oh oh it would have been gorgeous well, we were going to go for a drive today, but it was kind of windy. I don't know if it would have worked. So let's talk about what's coming up at Rod's Hot Rods, because this is not the end. We've always got more on the way. Well, we're going to be loading. we got a couple going to Alberta tomorrow or Friday. We're going to load tomorrow. we got five coming back from Alberta late Friday. So those five coming back Friday, I'm pretty excited about this. Yeah, I like this Hot is Rods like not just any five. Yes. So I got a 32 Ford High Boy steel bodied blown it's just a Ford and a Ford with a blower. It's just, That's, yeah, oh, cool. 32. Yeah. And you said steel body, steel body. Like most of the hot rods that have been around here more recently have been fiberglass yeah. kits, which are worth their weight in gold. But the steels are really incredible. Steels are cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's cool just when you pull up somewhere because everybody asks you, is it fiberglass? No, it's steel actually. It's, it's like great Poupon. <laughs> Past the great Poupon, right? <laughs> it's steel. The epitome of High class. Exactly. <laughs> French mustard. <laughs> um, another, another 32 about a Roadster. Oh. This is a glass car, a TCI chassis, a Winter's Quick Change in it, all chromed and very showy car. Uh, that's coming. And a 37 uh, Cabriolet. Nice. Ford. That's cool. LS1 mm -hmm. air conditioning. That's like a hot rod, hot rod. That's yep. cool. Uh, 29 Dodge Brothers. Five window. Oh, right on. Which is cool because they're a lot bigger than the Model A's. It's a bigger um, vehicle. Yeah, it just so there's more room in them, right? The so, Model A's are always tough. It's like tall guys. Yeah, like that one there, that Model A. Yeah, like tough that tall guys don't really, you know, have a comfortable ride in them all necessarily. So you have a better chance on this one being a Dodge. And it's just a Dodge. It's so cool. Like, look at the grill and stuff. I'd have, I don't think I've ever even, even, even seen one before. Nice. 29 Dodge. So that's coming. And uh, this is one you're kind of, it's going to need, 1940 Ford. Yeah. Cool. Now tack on the Pro Street. Yes. So, so it's kind of both talking. of our worlds. I, yeah. think it's, I think it's really cool. It's not something that, Rod, you've got right now. So like in that kind of category yeah. of style of car. Fat fendered. Yep. Fat tire. And then the big roof line that just, yeah. you know, all the way down to the bottom. It's, it just, it looks cool in the pictures. I can't wait to see it in person. Yeah, it's going to be, be, and it's black black yeah. yeah it's gonna be really sharp pro Good street car. black it's got all the stuff yeah. these are some pretty phenomenal builds too like all these are really all high quality high builds yeah yes. two of these cars that they were getting in are brand new cars not even registered yet and never even even been driven like they're brand brand new cars wow one of them we have to almost we have to finish one of them um but anyway and then we also still have the 69 mustang fastback coming oh yep um that landed, I think, in Alberta today. So maybe next week we'll get that one. As well as another 67 RS Camaro. Fantastic. So that's what's coming up for next week. Well, don't sell them all before I can get here. I, I try <laughs> keeping that caddy here, man. I, there is pictures online of the ones we did sell. That's right. I think they're still, maybe the Beamer's off there, but the caddy's still on there. It says sold, but you can still see a picture of it. Check it out there. And if you see something you liked in the video today, don't forget to go to rodshotrods.ca. Of course, we'll catch you next time on Hot Rod Hangout.